I reckon they will. Yeah, no, it's good, bro. Great start to the uh, Alberg trip 2015. Yeah, bit of snow overnight and plenty more to come this week, so. Just yeah. rock in from summer New Zealand straight into <laughs> yeah. full on winter. Yeah, yeah, quite the contrast <laughs> for sure, bro. Black and white. Look at that, see? Dry ass. So, nah, couldn't be more stoked. Good to be here. Yeah, so Wilgo's going to strap in up there, he's going to get some speed, he's going to come floating down here with as much speed as he can get. He's going to do a powder turn just here like shoot. And I'm going to shoot it right from here so that the spray that he's going to generate is going to, it's going to be on the darker background so you're going to see it. If I was to shoot from the bottom looking up, you know, his spray would just be lost white against white in the background. So that's my thinking on this shot. Let's see how it turns out, it should be good though. Look at this, blower, Alberg blower. Oh. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Hello. Thanks, yeah. So straight off the plane from New Zealand, eh? <laughs> Full on summer, <laughs> into the old powder at Alberg right away. Yeah, it doesn't get much better than this, does it? Yeah, yeah it's nice awesome. One. It's good to be here. Yeah, man. Oh! <laughs> First roost. Yeah. It's a First. nice little beginner. And not nice first. one for the day. Alright, so there's the next little spot we found. It's really snowing hard now, so it's really cool. And they're gonna uh, pretty much where the board's lying down the ground there, they'll just jump straight out from there and there's a nice landing behind it. I'm gonna I'm gonna duck over to the to the right side around around through this little gap here and go down and then shoot up looking up at them. Okay, I've set up down here below. You're probably not gonna be able to see where they are up there, but they are there. They're gonna jump between that tree there somewhere. And I'm shooting from here, looking straight up at them with a white background. With this much snowfall, it's very hard to focus. I'm gonna amp up the contrast a little bit on camera. Coming now. Yeah! Oh, sorry. Sorry. Boom! <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, dude. Nice one. Yeah. Could have gone a bit bigger, but I just wasn't sure, you know. Okay, so we'll go, we're just going to drop these pillows here. There's one in front, down to the bottom there. There's Gondra in the background, and uh, I'm going to shoot a sequence on this one, so hopefully he's going to land it in right away. But, uh, yeah, so... Let's send him. Yeah, Will J, ready for you, mate.
<laughs> yeah, dog. Yeah, nice, man. Nice tweak on the tail grab as well. Oh, that's a cool sequence, dude. Nice one. <laughs> it's snowing so much, I can't really keep this lens clear. Hopefully, you'll see something. I'm just jumping out of a, out from under that tree over this cliff here. See if we can time it right that we get a gondola in the background just to make it look a little special. I get a lot of questions about the equipment. You know, it's, uh, you know, we're out in the snow all day, it's really wet. Um, in 15 years of doing this, I've never had to take a camera in to get fixed from, from this sort of thing. Um, you know, I just dry it out every night. I don't take it directly inside into the warmth. I let it cool down for a couple of hours in the hallway or something. Just let it get back from outside to inside temperature and then put it in front of the heater, all the lenses off, dry everything overnight and go out and do it the next day. I've never had any problems with it, which is pretty funny. What's good about this environment is it's sterile. I don't have any dust and uh, that's what other people, you know, people shooting motocross or mountain biking, they're dealing with dust and that affects cameras way way worse than a little bit of moisture or well, salt water is obviously not good but a bit of bit of fresh water didn't really hurt doesn't seem to hurt it i mean i've been shooting with cannon forever and we're good you ready yeah so you can see the guys up there that's where they're just putting patting down a little flat takeoff so they got a bit of control on the when they pop off the lip and uh they're going to be jumping down into here somewhere and um oh. yeah you can't really see it but i got this tree in the foreground give it some contrast because it's pretty pretty hard to shoot in this sort of conditions just because everything's really white and you sort of got to put things in the foreground and the background and side ground just so that so that the viewer of the photo can get some sort of grasp of how big things are otherwise it's just white and you can't see whether it's steep or flat or anything really so fuck it's steep today <laughs> Jesus, <why is> it been? <laughs> You tell me, man, you tell me. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's just too deep. I landed it and then just stuck, I think. <laughs> I want to make it productive for you. Oh, yeah, I'm getting shots for sure. <laughs> I'll go one more. We'll try, I'll try something, eh? It's just a lot of, it's like a wild rodeo riding into it. It's fucking me all over the place. What so, do you think? It's probably not your first rodeo, right? <laughs> nah, I've been around the track for a little bit. But, uh, She's pretty soft in there. Very soft, almost too deep, which you don't say very often. That's nearly like, that's nearly like sacrilege to say that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'd get shot in New Zealand for saying that, probably. 